It's Reveille. This week, Governor Pritzker will deliver his State of the State and Budget Address. It's a political speech and not a sworn testimony, so listeners should expect malarkey instead of facts. There's no doubt Pritzker will make claims about a thriving business environment, cherry-picking companies that received taxpayer money to do business in Illinois. He's unlikely to mention that Richton Park in South Cook County just saw its only grocery store close and in its place a new minority minority-owned marijuana shop open up. The reason the store gave for closing was high property taxes. The property taxes on the store in Illinois are four times higher than the property taxes on a similar store just miles away in Indiana. These types of speeches usually involve the governor pointing out individuals who have been helped by the state. Will Pritzker highlight the four migrants living in a shelter downtown Chicago who robbed and strangled an American riding the pink line? Pritzker is likely to say that the migrant crisis is under control without telling Illinoisans that he will spend at least $1.5 billion on illegal immigrants this year. He'll probably mention that he is paying down pension debt. Last year, he said the same thing, but the actual pension debt grew by 4%. His big announcement will be that he is investing even more in early childhood education and daycare. Last year, Illinois spent over $4.4 billion on these services using both state and federal money. But a new study shows that preschool may actually be detrimental to a child's development. And he won't mention that most of the money goes to Chicago, where only a quarter of the students are at grade level. Watch for the lies and the half-truth from Pritzker, and then tune into my radio show Sunday on AM 560 Chicago from 7 to 9 p.m. to get the real story with Jeannie Ives. Also, sign up for my newsletter at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.